Hello students, in this video we'll prove that the sum of two Riemann integrable functions is also Riemann integrable. So let's suppose that f and g are Riemann integrable on a, b. Okay, then f plus g is Riemann integrable or f minus, same thing. Okay, so let's prove this. Let's let epsilon be greater than zero and pick a partition, pick partitions PF and PG such that two things are true. On these partitions, what do I want? I want UF, UF, PF minus LF, PF to be less than epsilon over two. And I want UG, PG minus L, G, P, G to be less than epsilon over 2. We can do this because F and G are both integrable. And so now what can I say? Now with this, I can say, I can consider P, which is the union of P, F, and P, G. Okay. Then what can I say about U, F, U, F, P minus, well, we want U of F plus G on P, rather. So let's do that. So we can get say that U of F plus G on P minus L of F plus G on P. Well, I can make the upper sum of a sum of two things bigger because it's possible that F and G are individually bigger than the supremum of F plus G. F plus G can actually make the supremum is small. The supremum of F plus G is smaller than the supremum of F plus the supremum of G. So I can write this as less than or equal to U F P plus U G P. And analogously, I can make the lower sums what? I can make the lower sums larger by doing what? By replacing L F plus G with L F plus LG, right? So I'm going to say minus L F P minus L G P. Now L F, now U F P minus L F P is a, uh, is definitely less than epsilon over two because this P is, is finer than P F. So these terms are less than epsilon over two and these terms are less than epsilon over two. So all total, this is less than epsilon. And that shows that what? That shows that U F plus G, that, U F plus G P minus L F plus G P is less than epsilon. And so in, the, in this proof, we've used the following facts that are easy to prove that U of F plus G P is less than or equal to U F P plus U G P and L F plus G P is bigger than or equal to L F P plus L G P. Great. Now let's keep this partition in the back of our minds. So now I'd like to actually get a result about these, um, about a, a rule. Now, what can I say about the integral, the integral from A to B of F plus G dx? Well, this is equal to, since this is integrable, it's equal to u of f plus g. But u of f plus g is the infimum of all these things, so this is less than or equal to what? This is less than or equal to u f plus g, u f plus g, with respect to the partition p, because that's the bigger one, that's the infimum. Now this is less than what? This is less than by our inequality over here, less than or equal to LF P. Sub G, a piece of F, P plus LG plus epsilon, okay, by this inequality over here. So I can just write this thing over here is less than this, therefore this is less than LFP plus LGP. Now, um, 
What can I say? Now, these things are both less than the integral from what? From a to b of f, a to b to g. So this is less than or equal to integral from a to b of f dx plus integral from a to b of g dx plus epsilon. Now, I can do the same thing over here, except I can reverse the inequalities. So what we can say is this. We can also say that the integral from a to b of f plus g. Both of these. dx is equal to L f plus g, which is bigger than or equal to the supremum, L f plus g p, which is bigger than or equal to what? Which is bigger than or equal to L f, L f, L f p plus L g p. And now those things over there are, what, are bigger than or equal to what? So those things are bigger than or equal to uf plus up, uf plus up, by this inequality over here. So if I throw these lfp and gfp over here, I'll have that they're bigger than ufp, ugp, and an epsilon, gp minus epsilon, okay? And so now these things over here are what? So those are bigger than the integral from a to b, bigger than or equal to the integral from a to b, of f plus the integral from a to b of g, and then a minus epsilon. So in other words, what do we have over here? We have that the integral, we have that the integral for any epsilon, so the integral from a to b of f plus the integral from a to b of g is less than or equal to the integral from a to b of f plus g, and that's less than or equal to the integral from a to b of f plus the integral from a to b of g. So our conclusion is the following. Our conclusion is not only is f plus g, f plus g integrable, but it's true that the integral from a to b of f plus g dx is the integral from a to b of f dx plus the integral from a to b of g dx. And that shows that the sum of two Riemann integral functions is integrable, and the integral of the sum is the sum of the integrals. Thank you very much.